Welcome everyone. Hope you're having a good holiday weekend so far. We've just got one break tonight and it is going to be a half case of Prism Baseball. We started this case a few nights ago and we're going to finish it up here tonight. As usual, we go over a little bit of info before we start ripping into things. So let's get cracking with that. Feedback, 100% automated. So you never have to wait on me. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get the same in return. And of course, the second and far more important message you see there is to say thank you. I do appreciate you being here, spending part of your evening with me. And uh, those of you who chat and bid and break and keep me updated on scores and all that, welcome and thank you. This is a list of what's coming up in the days ahead. It looks so skinny, doesn't it? I can't remember the last time we had so many days in a row with just one break per night. But it's all this base card heavy stuff. We don't have room for multiples most of these nights. Uh, so, such as it is, tomorrow night's an off night. Monday night, we're going to open a half case of Bowman Baseball. It's the back part of a case. On Tuesday night, we'll open a 12-box case of Legacy Football. We'll start early at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. And Veteran Base does not ship to the teams. It has its own bidding category in Legacy Football Break. On Wednesday, it is Leather and Lumber Baseball. That's a new release from Panini. And a really pricey one. That's uh, right around $2,000 for a case of 10 boxes, right? I mean, that is outrageously expensive so I'm hoping that we get some outrageously good hits from it and then on Thursday night it will be legacy football once again and that will be another nine o'clock eastern six pacific start time and once again veteran base will not ship to the teams but will instead have its own bidding category so here's what you need to know about shipping we've got just the one break tonight everybody's going to pull cards of some sort in this break so we don't need to worry about consolation cards and i'm planning on this to be on the way to you approximately wednesday now keep in mind there is no uh mail on monday for the holiday so there's no pickup no delivery uh, maybe they do express mail i don't know but no regular mail delivery and certainly no pickup uh, on Monday. So I'm projecting this to go out on Wednesday. If it's possible for me to get it out on Tuesday instead, you know I will be happy to do so. But for now, let's plan on Wednesday. This is a six box case of 2019 a Prism Baseball. It's a half case break and it is break number four. And of course, everything we're opening tonight ended tonight on eBay Saturday night, the 25th of May. Team names are on the left-hand side. Your eBay user ID is up in lights across from your team if you are one of our lucky winning bidders tonight. And I know we've got a few people in here with multiple teams and uh, definitely increases your odds, right? For sure. For sure, for sure. Tries to get you in the right direction. Last but not least, you're going to notice the background here will go out of focus a little bit, and that is by design. Yeah, yeah, because I like to look at them up really close. And in order to do that, I have to play around with the focus a little bit, but don't sweat it. We're going to be able to see all of our cards without any problems. Dwayne is here asking about if we have any teams that aren't paid. Dwayne, I did actually have um, somebody that's got a couple of teams that wasn't paid the last time I looked at it. However, uh, I know that bidder pretty well. They bid with me often, and I, I'm sure that they are probably just tied up with something. Uh, so I'm just going to let the, those ride in this particular instance. Uh, and it may even be paid by now. Honestly, I last checked like probably 10 minutes ago, and when I saw there was just the one set of unpaid and, and I recognized the bidder, I just figured, yeah, well, we won't worry about it. Jay Allen, you said you, I thought you weren't coming by tonight at all, but you did stop by to say hi to us. Well, hi, Jay Allen. And uh, you said, once again, he's reminding me that his mojo needs to be for the A's, the Dodgers, the Orioles, the Phillies, and the Twins. That's a lot of teams. Surely we can find you something out of all that. And Gina's here. Gina got her Marlins tonight, so she's happy to have a little skin in the game, so to speak. And we will, of course, as always, in this very first box, we'll spend a little bit more time 
talking about what things are numbered to and looking at our different types of um, inserts than we will in our future boxes. We'll move a little faster through everything but the first box. I do tend to go a little slower in that one just in case, you know, somebody hasn't broken the product before or you need a little refresher course about what's in it and that sort of thing. J. Allen, you said, did I, I have you on the spreadsheet uh, for teams that aren't yours? Uh-oh. Then that might mean that I forgot to clear uh, the spreadsheet or clear the clipboard when I was cutting and pasting. That does happen every once in a while. And, of course, I can't go back. I can't take you back to that spreadsheet right at this minute because, guess what? We've already got cards out of the box here. So here's the deal guys and gals if i accidentally failed to clear the clipboard and did paste someone in on a team that they don't have which would mean someone else did not get pasted where they should have been um don't worry that's not going to mess you up in terms of shipping okay because for shipping purposes i use ebay invoices i I get those directly from eBay. The spreadsheet is really just for us to have informational purposes here tonight. Of course, my preference is to not make mistakes on it, but every once in a while, that's I, I do forget to clear a clipboard and, and paste something in there incorrectly. So uh, if I did, I will, I will see if I can get that fixed uh, here in a minute. I can't switch you back to the spreadsheet for the reason I just said. We've got I already had cards out on the table. But let me see if I can figure out, Jay Allen, who you're looking for. All right, so I have you for the Orioles. Uh, here's the Royals, which I think are yours. I show you for the Angels and the Dodgers, which looks like you are the Dodgers. Maybe you're not the Angels. That may be one that I have in there wrong then. So let's see what else I've got you for. The Twins, are you the Twins? Yes. The A's, yes. The Phillies, yes. Um, I show you for the Rangers, maybe that's a no. So it looks like that might be where I messed up. I forgot to clear the clipboard at some point, and I've got you in for the Angels and the Rangers, perhaps. So let me see if I can figure out where that goes. Hang on one second, kids. And I'm going to try to fix this, and then I can put up the, the fixed version after the break. But first I have to find it. i got to find where the angels, here we go. The angels and the reds and the rangers are all one person. I wonder if I copied the reds wrong too then. Yeah, I did. So that whole, <laughs> that whole user ID, I actually just forgot to clear the clipboard. So bear with me, kids, while I get this fixed. And then we'll show it again after we look at this box since this is uh, already open and out on the table. All right, so, all right. I'm getting there. I know. It takes a minute. I don't know how I, well, I do know how I did it. Every once in a while, that's just what happens to me. All right, so that means that we're talking about the Reds and the Angels and the Rangers are actually krudy24, which is the correct username, which again, I will display to you guys after we look through, uh, after we look through everything, I'll put the new spreadsheet back up there, but I did just now fix it. And thank you, Jay Allen, for catching that. Every once in a while, I do have a little cut and paste error in there. Okie dokie, so um, let's get rolling here. So base cards, uh, there's not much to say about them. This is going to be numbered, I do believe, based on the pattern, and I would be wrong. <laughs> I'm thinking, I see, I do this every time. So it is a prism, but it is not numbered, and the ditto here. So I think perhaps this may be one of our little hot box uh, variations when we find that. The red prisms are also not numbered. We will find those throughout. Machines, most of those inserts are not numbered. This is numbered. Uh, the, the green, well, I'm not going to sleeve all these right now. The greens are numbered to 199. So anytime we see those, 
that's what they're going to be numbered to. Blue Mojo, whenever we see those, they will be to 399 Our first autograph out is to 99 and that is Ortiz. It's the zebra pattern, and it's for the Baltimore Orioles. So, hey, hey, how about that, Jay Allen? It's a good way to start your night, isn't it? And once again, that pattern not numbered, so we won't kind of we won't continue to flip those over since we know they're unnumbered. Ditto with the red. This insert series, while it's cool, also not numbered. Another blue mojo to $3.99. Stephen uh, Dugar there for the Giants. Gina said if I can't figure it out, I could just send all those extra cards to her. <laughs> Well, Gina, that might make somebody else unhappy, you know, but I like the way you think. So this is just an example of just a plain silver prism, uh, just like our silver prisms and other products. They are not numbered, uh, but they still have some collectible value, of course. This is a lumber ink uh, that is not a prism. We'll find some of those maybe that are prisms, but they're still unnumbered. Red mojos are to 299. Blue mojos, once again, are to 399. And our second autograph out is Tukey, headed to the Atlanta Braves. I just like his name. I think his name is really cool. And we haven't seen a blue yet, but like the red and our others, they are prisms, but they are not numbered fireworks insert which honestly like why do they have so many different colors that are unnumbered like if you're not going to number it why not just make them all red or all blue i mean they're not numbered anyway so i've never quite figured out the rationale behind that but anyway they do what they do illumination is another insert set we'll find uh primarily not numbered reds are to 299 Here's our first uh, gold. It is to 150. And what else do we have? Valdez for the Houston Astros is our third autograph out of this box. It is three autographs per box. I don't know if I remembered to say that at the start because I was um, uh, busy trying to correct my spreadsheet error. <laughs> That's to 199. Uh, Brad Keller there is to 399 but if I did not remember to say it, that's the deal. There are three autographs per box, unless we find a hot box, which could have a few more in it. To 199 that's choleric for choleric, choleric, I guess not choleric, huh? Uh, <laughs> and he plays for the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, I know. I'm the only one. I'm amusing only myself. I know. I get it. <laughs> one of those days. What can I tell you? To 150, that's Tanner Rainey for the Washington Nationals. Here's a little zebra to 99 with Kyle Freeland and the Colorado Rockies. I do love the zebras. I think they are great fun. I like little special patterns like that. And Dakota Hudson here happens to be numbered to 10. So this is gold without the pattern. The other gold that we see that has kind of the sparkle pattern, that's the one that's to 150. When we find gold with no pattern, those are lower numbered, such as that one for the Cardinals to 10. To 299, you say Kakuchi for the Mariners. More hot box variations, not numbered. A blue, unnumbered to 199 for the Phillies. That's Herrera. This is either to 60 or 75. I can never remember which. 75. It's for the Oakland A's, Marcus Simeon. And we'll find a fair number with that pattern as well. Instant Impact, another just base insert uh, series that we'll kind of find throughout. To 299, Pelham and the Rangers. To 150, that is Fletcher 
for the angels. I guess I really don't have to separate out all these unnumbered things. Everything is shipping anyway. I don't really know. Just out of habit, I still separate them into piles. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> habits, habits. Corey Kluber with a silver prism. Next up is one Brian Anderson for the Miami Marlins to 299 Mojo. I thought it was going to be autographed because it was facing backwards and it fooled me. It's not autographed. Berea for the Angels, Red Mojo. My poor Cincinnati Reds didn't have any Mojo today, did they? Got thumped by the Cubs. Eight to six, I think it ended up, something like that. Snakeskin variation. James Paxton and the Yankees to 50. Followed by a little zebra for the Astros with Valdez to 99. All the, the zebras are to 99. A little hot box, hot box, silver prism, uh, Jake Bowers for the Indians to 399. A blue mojo to 399 again with another blue mojo. So that's what box number one looks like. And... Uh, I think we have a pretty good handle on what's what, so the other boxes going forward should probably be a tad bit quicker than that one was anyway. Did any of you, I, well, first of all, I don't know if any of, how many of you are old enough to remember this anyway, the original Jeffersons or the original All in the Family from many years ago. I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember it, but those of you who are old enough to remember it, did you happen to watch the other night the live recreation they did of an episode of All in the Family and an episode of the Jeffersons? Yeah, I finally got around to watching it. You know, I don't hardly ever watch anything live in the evenings because we're usually breaking. So my DVR always has about 950 shows in it. Um, <laughs> but I finally got around to watching that. And I thought All in the Family was like, okay. But the Jeffersons was so awesome. The casting was just spot on for the Jeffersons. I mean, Jamie Foxx had the voice, the mannerisms. He had the whole thing down for George Jefferson. Like, oh, it was so crazy good. And then to have the original Florence actually make an appearance right there at the end. I just, I loved that recreation of the Jeffersons. And I thought Marissa Tomei was really good for All in the Family. And... Um, she played Edith, and I, I liked Ellie Kemper, too, as Gloria, but I really couldn't get into Woody Harrelson as Archie. I just, he just didn't do it for me, so it kind of, you know, ruined the All in the Family one for me, because I couldn't get into him as Archie. Um, I need to put on my wrist brace again tonight. If you'll bear with me, I'm sorry, I should have started out with it. Every night, I think it's, I'm not going to need it, and then I do. I'll be right back. Yeah, my carpal tunnel is like flaring up like crazy the last uh, week or so. Anytime we do a lot of breaks with bass, you know, of course I'm sorting as much as I'm breaking. And that wrist just like kind of goes nuts on me after a period of time. That is numbered to 299. It is A-Rod as a Mariner. Hunter Dozier comes out for our first autograph. At least I think it'll be an autograph for the Kansas City Royals. Of course, I say that, and then that one we had before, I flipped it around and it wasn't an autograph, so sometimes it uh, fools me. Okay, you remember it, and uh, Pimpo3 remembers it too. Yeah, you. it should be, um, I bet they'll replay it. I'm sure that, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm sure, but I would imagine that they'll probably 
uh, replay it. Steven Strasberg, Silver Prism. A Blue Mojo to $3.99. Eric Hosmer. Or they have it on demand or something like that. But if you liked those shows originally, I definitely think it's worth watching. Especially the Jeffersons because it was crazy good, I thought. Ryan Barucki, Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, Jay Allen, that show just came on a couple of nights ago. Um, and it was uh, Jimmy Kimmel did the whole thing. It was like called Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel Live Presents or something like that. A scooter Jeanette for the Reds to $3.99 with a blue mojo. And it was um, basically, you know, reimagining all in the family and the and the Jeffersons just with current cast. And it's definitely worth watching if you liked them originally. Patrick Wisdom. For the Rangers. The Jeffersons was actually one of my favorite shows. I used to love that. All those Norman Lear shows. You know, the Jeffersons, Sanford and Son, All in the Family. All those shows were great. Star Starling Marte for the Pirates to 150 Probably the only one I didn't like all that much was Maud. And I didn't dislike Maud, but... I don't love Maud. It was really just kind of middle of the road for me anyway. Um, Kay, I think it was CBS. I'm pretty sure it was CBS. Um, I think it was. Is that what Jimmy Kimmel's on now? Xander Bogarts to $3.99 Blue Mojo. I think CBS is what all those shows were on originally, so I, I would say that's probably right. You know me, I don't really pay attention always to the networks. I just kind of go find stuff in the guide and hit record. <laughs> Let the DVR do all the heavy lifting for me. Clayton Kershaw, a little Kersh uh, silver prism for the Dodgers. Danny Jansen to $2.99 red mojo for the Blue Jays. A blue Severino to $150. That is Roberto Alomar for the Cleveland Indians. A red Max Scherzer, a blue Mojo to three ninety nine. Isaac Galloway for the Marlins. Jay Allen, you like Sanford and Son too, and Maude also annoyed you a little bit. It's something about B. Arthur, right? Like I don't know, because it, it wasn't the writing. The writing was fine, but there was something about B. Arthur, the actress just didn't totally work for me like even with golden girls out of all the women on golden girls b arthur is the one that would like sometimes get on my nerves a little bit this is a nice little shimmer and uh maroon shimmer i call it maroon anyway it is number 225 Mikolas for the st louis cardinals so I think it's kind of a, for me anyway, I think it was just a B. Arthur thing. Something about her didn't thrill me. Her mannerisms or something. I don't know. Severino, that is a prism. It is not numbered, though, for the Yankees. A red Laureano. To 199, that's Chris Davis in the Oakland A's. A blue Piazza for the Mets. A red Mojo Juan Soto to $2.99 for the Nationals. A silver prison Suarez for my little Cincinnati Reds, baby. My Reds got pounded today. Rafael Devers to $2.99. Red Sox, red Mojo. Well, they didn't really get pounded, pounded. I think they lost 8-6, to six, but, but they lost nonetheless, so... Gina, you liked, oh, Faulty Towers from, oh, yeah, BBC. Well, first of all, John Cleese is a genius, so there's not much that he's in that isn't so funny. Uh, you know, back to his Monty Python days, John Cleese is brilliant. And, yeah, Faulty Towers is funny. 
honestly, BBC has some incredibly good television. I watch a lot of BBC shows, um, either on BBC America, if we get them, or, uh, you know, on Netflix or whatever. And they're actually getting ready to do a new season of Luther. It starts, uh, like, next week, maybe. So if you ever follow Luther in that last season, which at that time we thought was going to be the last, it's been a couple years ago, but it's Idris Elba. It's so good. So if you haven't ever watched Luther, go catch it. Catch up on it, you know, on Netflix or whatever and get ready for the new season. But I do agree, Gina, to, to your point. Faulty Towers is, is very fun if you're into that sort of British sense of humor, which I definitely am. Monty Python, one of my favorites. Oh, Pimpo likes Benny Hill. Benny Hill is a nut, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't you can't leave out Benny Hill, that's for sure. Gina says the Milwaukee Bucks are up by five in the third. Well, you know I like the Bucks. Um, we got Eric Bledsoe on there who used to play for my University of Kentucky Wildcats. And, of course, the Greek freak and Giannis. And it's fun to watch the Bucks play. But that having been said, I kind of want to see Toronto win. Um, you know, I just think that would be just perfect for Kawhi Leonard after, you know, getting traded up there and not necessarily wanting to be traded up there. If he could get to the finals, I, I kind of think that would be pretty cool. Brandon Belt to 299 Giants Red Mojo. But either way, it sounds like a close game. Miggy in a silver prism. And to 399, Willie Calhoun for the Texas Rangers. So for my money, I mean, I'm okay with either one. I'm okay with the Bucks winning, uh, frankly, and I'm okay if it's the Raptors winning. But for the reasons I said, I really wouldn't mind it being the Raptors. Although, somebody said, who said last night, was it last night or night before last, somebody said that the whole reason they didn't want Toronto to win is because they can't stand looking at Drake on the sidelines, basically. <laughs> Michael Kopik for the White Sox. Chicago. White Sox get a hit. Number to 75, Miami Marlins, Brian Anderson. Of course, you know, my whole <clears throat> my whole thing is just really, I want to see somebody besides Golden State win the whole thing. Garrett Hampson to 299 for the Rockies. Mainly just because I'm ready for a change of pace. Not that they don't, you know, deserve to win. They probably do. They've been quite good. But I would like to see somebody else win. To 150, that was Trevor Williams, Pittsburgh Pirates. We'll find out who they go up against here shortly. Mike Miner, Texas Rangers, Silver Prism. And to 75, Reyes for the San Diego Padres. And I know, I'm kind of supposed to appreciate the fact that it's a modern-day dynasty and we don't get to see those types of dynasties too often and I know I'm supposed to appreciate all that and say that the Warriors should win for the next thousand years but I do want to see somebody new <laughs> Mike Trout fireworks that one was a prism but was not numbered Patrick Wisdom for the Rangers Blue Mojo to 399 that would be one Adam Jones for the Baltimore Orioles that is a red Malik Smith for the Mariners to 150, Lorenzo Cain and the Milwaukee Brewers. Jay Allen, you said your grandmother ha got, has got you started watching Faulty Towers. Well, that's pretty cool then. You had a very hip grandmother, huh? I like that. 
I approve wholeheartedly. Austin wins for the Baltimore Orioles. Have ourselves another zebra. This one is also headed to the Orioles. And look at that. That would also be Austin wins. It's to 99. Go figure. The autograph and the zebra. Why couldn't the autograph have been on the zebra? That's what I'm thinking. Number to 75. That goes to the San Francisco Giants. Tempo 3 needs some Tatis Mojo. All right, let's try to find it for you. See if we can't get a little of that flowing your way. Andrew Velasquez for the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah, I would definitely like to pull you some nice Padres if we can find them. To $3.99, that was a Verlander Blue Mojo. A Silver Prism Javi Baez for the Cubs. Red Mojo Guerrera, San Diego Padres. And we are halfway there. Three open and three remaining in our six box half case. Gina, you said the Warriors are going to annoy you if they win playing with six people out and starting a used car salesman. <laughs> well, now listen, you got to remember that they were winning before Kevin Durant. So there's no reason to think that they require Kevin Durant to win, right? So, I mean, the fact that he's on the bench and they're still winning, well, that shouldn't surprise any of us I don't think and of course Boogie Cousins you know they traded for him in the off season anyway so he's another he was just an added piece of the pie but certainly they could win without him so I mean I'm not terribly surprised that they're still winning When it looks like they shouldn't be. <laughs> you know, I mean, most teams you take out somebody the caliber of, of Kevin Durant and you're probably not going to be in a good position to win. But not the Warriors. Jay Allen, you are looking for some Reese Hoskins ink. All right, let's try to find some Reese Hoskins ink for you then. I'm going to do my best. And Gina needs Marlin. She's got to have more Marlin. So we got to try to work that mojo as well. All right. Let's get these rolling here on box number four of six that we're starting to look at right now. Jonathan Davis is our first autograph that we see. Number to 75 for the Toronto Blue Jays. You think Steph Curry looks 10 times better without Kevin Durant on the floor? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's hard to argue that. I mean, they're play he is playing really well, Curry is. Uh, Indians to 199. Yeah, I mean, Steph Curry is... I mean, he's good regardless, but I think you're probably correct in that Durant takes some of the plays that maybe would have been a Steph Curry type play without Durant. So, so he definitely uh, has an, a more active stat line without Durant. To 99, Mookie Betts, Boston Red Sox, Zebra. Yelich and the Brewers with a just red unnumbered to 75 Baltimore Orioles Ortiz. <laughs> it's, it's my fault uh, because you loved the cards you got the other day, so now you're blaming me for being hooked on Prism. <laughs> That's okay, man. I'll take that blame. It's all right. 
That's because Prism is um, awesome. I continue to be surprised at how little interest there is in Prism Baseball. I'm really shocked that it isn't doing better than, than it is. I, of course, I'm a Prism fan, period, regardless of the sport, but it hadn't been in baseball in a few years. I kind of expected it to be pretty hot. To 75, the Rockies, Daniel Murphy. But for sure, it, it hasn't drawn the level of interest, uh, you know, that we would have thought. Ooh, the Bucks are up by 13 now. Dang, they've been on a little bit of a run there. Mondesi, Kansas City Royals, Silver Prism to 199. That would be Jose Barrios and the Minnesota Twins. A red Herrera for the Phillies. To 199, Chris Archer for the Pirates. Chris Archer, who likes to bean people. Well, I guess he doesn't bean everybody. He just beaned uh, some of my guys. By my guys, I mean the Reds. Sean Newcomb, Silver Prism Braves. To 299 red mojo for the A Sean Manea. A silver prism Herrera and the Phillies. A red mojo to 299. That is Pablo Lopez. Yeah, man, I can't believe I mean the Bucks like suddenly, I guess not suddenly, but in the matter of a relatively small span of time there. Jumped from being up 5 to being up 13. I don't like the looks of that. A little snake skin. This should be numbered to 50. Freddie Peralta and the Milwaukee Brewers. And it is numbered to 50. So yay, I got one right. Blue Gonzalez for the Texas Rangers. Blue Mojo, Jose Ramirez to 399. An autograph for the Rockies with one Trevor Story. Seems like we've been pulling Trevor Story out of here a lot, doesn't it? Feels like we have. To 399, Freddie Freeman, Blue Mojo Braves. Frankly, I'm just grateful we don't have the excessive duplication that we had in the first. The very first break we did was crazy. Many of you were in it, not all of you. But the duplication in that first break was so awful. Like, I just thought, oh my gosh, I hope this whole product is not like that. Patrick Wisdom to 75. And then since then, that's for the Rangers, it has definitely been better to 399 Sazek Sazek for the Rangers. So I'm going to say I, I want to say it was just an anomaly, but I think I remember someone telling me in chat that they had watched another break that also had quite a lot of duplicates. So it seems like definitely there are some cases that have that and then there are other cases that don't. <clears throat> But for us, really, just that first one was the was the really bad one. And you know, we could easily do a full case of this if I didn't sort and ship the veteran base. If we just did inserts, autographs, parallels, and numbered cards, we could easily break this by the full case. If you guys want to do something like that, how do you feel about that? I know sometimes you want the base, sometimes you don't, and some people don't care either way, but... There's, you know, 17 or 1800 cards in a case, so... I wouldn't want to do a full case in one setting if all the cards were shipping, but I wouldn't mind doing it if we didn't ship veteran base.
Yeah, and Jay Allen, I wonder if if that is part of the reason that Prism hasn't done as well as expected. Like, you know, somebody who maybe caught not just even my break, but caught a case that had a lot of duplicates. Jeffress for the Milwaukee Brewers and then just decided it was going to be that way in every case and like never came back to find out that in fact the rest of the cases haven't so much been that way. So that could be it. You might be right. Eddie Rosario, Minnesota Twins. Well, that's not exactly what you said. I was kind of, <laughs> you said you said it was just, you know, bad with all the dupes. And then I just kind of took that and went from there a little bit. I guess I'm not putting words in your mouth too much. That's the 399 Pelham for the Rangers Blue Mojo. But for the benefit of those watching later and not having access to the chat, I did kind of take a little lead on that. To 199 Patrick Corbin, Washington Nationals. I'm, I'm communicating telepathically with Jay Allen. <laughs> to 2.99 for the Nationals, Anthony Rendon. Oh, you said just send equal amounts of the base unsorted. Well, you still even to do equal amounts of the base, you kind of got to sit there and spend some time. By the time you like count all the base and then count it out into 30 teams so that each team is getting an equal amount of base well that would take a while as well Perez for the Astros numbered to 50 plus it would mean I couldn't then offer the base as its own bidding category which is typically what I do as you know so then the set collectors and you know set builders and things can go get the base if they want it that way Wade Davis to 99 for the Colorado Rockies with a zebra pattern. Although the one person who mostly liked base to do set building hasn't been in a while, so I don't know what's going on there, but that particular person uh, I haven't seen in a bit, so who knows. Dwayne Underwood comes out for the Chicago Cubbies. Chris Shaw to 199, San Francisco Giants. Mondesi again for the Royals. That is a just base silver prism. Red Mojo to 299, Brett Kennedy Padres. Oh, they tried to get out of my hand there. Fortunately, did not make it far. Andujar for the Yankees. To 199, Candelario for the Detroit Tigers. Now, now see those? That pile cooperated with me. Silver Prism, Sean Newcomb, Braves. To 150, that's Nelson Cruz for the Minnesota Twins. A red Adam Jones for the Orioles. Ooh, our first wave of the night. Wave should be the 60, if I'm recalling correctly. But we're going to find out here in a hot second. That is Kirby Puckett for the Minnesota Twins, and it is, in fact, to 60. Yeah, I forgot we hadn't seen any wave tonight until we just saw that one to remind me. Incarnation Mariner Silver Prism. Oh, we hadn't seen any scope tonight either. That should be to 35. Joey Gallo and the Rangers. And yeah, it is to 35. Little base card hanging out there at the end of the stack. A brilliance that is a prism. Corey Kluber and the Indians. It's not numbered, but... Prism nonetheless. To 399, it's Zach Grinke. Blue Mojo Diamondbacks. Now we are on Last Box Mojo. We gotta try to bring the fire. Bring the heat. 
<laughs> Jay Allen says, well, he may as well just stay up now. He's made it this far. There's not much longer to go. <laughs> You're going to be um, hating me tomorrow when you have to wake up really early, aren't you? <laughs> You'll just take an energy shot. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably have to take about 10 energy shots. I just, I am the worst about having to get up early. I, I don't do well with it at all. That is partially because I stay up quite late. It is rare that I am asleep before 2 a.m. And sometimes I don't even fall asleep till 3 or 4 a.m. If I've been up really late working, I, it takes me a while, you know, to kind of gear down. And the next thing you know, it'll be 3, 4 in the morning. And then, then I end up sleeping until like 9.30, which is terribly unproductive. But what are you going to do? Oh, Pempo brought the <laughs> brought the uh, emoticons. I like it. The emojis. He put a box and a fire. I like it. Gina, come on, fish! You're drowning here. <laughs> no pun intended, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see if we can't find you a Marlin in here. And we still need to, uh, uh, I'm sure, ring the bell for a few more of Jay Allen's teams because he's reminded me he's got A's, Dodgers, Orioles, Phillies, Royals, and Twins. And Gina needs her Marlins, and we need our Tatis. We got a lot of mojo requests in. So once again, this is another just kind of like a hot box variation, but those are not numbered. Um, but we're going to find, I would imagine, quite a few of them. The Red Sox, Jackie Bradley, with a base silver prism. Here's a Marlin, and it's a zebra. Dontrell Willis to 99. To 299, that is Mike Trout with a red mojo for the Angels. Man, we got close. Your Padres, we were like on the edge of it. It's not Tatis, but we did get you, Urias. And it is numbered to 50, so the snakeskin variation. So, you know what? That's got to help some, right? If you're the Padres. Taking the burn out a little bit, if you will. To 299, Malik Smith. Mariners to 299, Trevor Richards for the Marlins. Both of those were red mojo. It's another hot box pattern, hot box pattern. Robinson Cano for the Mets with a silver prism. To 399, Blue Mojo, White Sox, uh, Rodon. Francisco Lindor, 150 for the Tribe. Kyle Schwarber and the Cubbies. Anna Moncada for the White Sox, both the hot box variation. Jefferson, a blue unnumbered. Josh James, Blue Mojo to 399, Astros to 199, Chris Bryant and the Cubbies. Jay Allen, you said you were a night owl suffering through a bunch of morning people. I know, I feel you. I mean, that's the worst. Uh, I had a, a job for a long time. I was a, a regional sales manager for uh, a beer distribution company and I had to be in there at the crack of dawn to get my team out the door every day because I had a, I had some direct reports that were, you know, drivers and people that had to get out the door super, super early. And it was a little bit of a drive for me as well. So I was, you know, having to get out of bed most days at 530 in the morning and it was just awful. <laughs> I absolutely hated it. I hated it. Herrera for the Marlins to 99. Zebra. Not the job. I liked the job. I hated the, the hours. To 299, Walker Bueller, Dodgers. Also, because I had to work really late at night, I had to go do promotions in bars and restaurants and various things. Scorching Verlander. Prism. And then get up and be in there that early. Oh, it was dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful. I don't know how you do it. 
Kevin Mitchell for the Giants to 75. Yeah, it's much, much better for me doing stuff like this where I can just stay up half the night if I need to. <laughs> Not worry about it. And then if I need to sleep till 9 a.m., then I sleep till 9 a.m., you know. To 399, Chris Davis and the A's to 299, Wade Davis for the Rockies. Some more hot box patterns. Another scope. Yay, that means another one to 35. Dakota Hudson, St. Louis Cardinals. To 199, Dontrell Willis for the Marlins. So Gina's uh, picking up actually a lot of parallels in the last box for you, Gina. So that's got to help you uh, help you feel a little better about things, right? Garrett Hampson, Colorado Rockies. Oh, why did I do that? Those are the same pile. I'm losing my mind. Austin wins three ninety nine. This is to sixty. Brad Keller and the Kansas City Royals. Oh, Gina. Oh, Gina says she got sick of getting up early and then her and then the barn burned down and solved her problem. <laughs> Bless your heart. I remember when that happened. That was awful. I thought you guys had that mostly rebuilt, though. Didn't you tell me that uh, a little bit back, that it was being rebuilt? Or did I just, like, make that up, dream that or something? Blake Snell, Tampa Bay Rays to 99. Zebra pattern, followed by a snakeskin for the twins. Miguel Sano to 50. To 199, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. Jacob Nix, numbered to 99. Another one for San Diego. This one's on a zebra pattern. So, Pimpo, we might not have pulled you exactly what you were looking for, but you know what? Last Box Mojo has been kind to you, I think. So, I, I think your emojis of the box and the fire, I think it worked for you. I do. Felix Hernandez, Seattle Mariners to 99. Behind that, numbered to 60, we have Daniel Murphy, Colorado Rockies. That's the wave pattern. It is all built back. Okay, see, I thought it was. And then when you said that, I thought, oh, man, am I, like, wrong? Did I dream that? I, uh, you never know. Castillo for my Cincinnati Reds. Silver Prism. Taylor Ward, Angels, three ninety nine, Kutch to two ninety nine for the Phillies, and that, my friends, is the last of it. Here's what we're gonna do, though. We will recap our autographs, and then we're gonna recap some of the lower numbered stuff, um, which looks like a big stack. It is kind of a big stack, but it's not nearly as big as the other stack of stuff that's higher numbered. <laughs> but we'll we'll flip through it uh, anyway. So. When you see this pattern, the wave pattern, those are numbered to 60. The zebra patterns there are all to 99. The snake skins are to 50. The scope are to 35. The checkerboard are to 75. So you kind of know what you're looking at anyway as we buzz through these. And then of course we got we have one shimmer, one maroon shimmer. It is to 25. And somewhere in here we're going to have a single gold one which is to 10. That was this one here, Dakota Hudson to 10. And then another zebra. So that's our lower numbered stuff that didn't have an autograph attached to it. Jacob Nix to 99 zebra San Diego Padres. Garrett Hampson for the Colorado Rockies. Snakeskin to 50 for uh, the Padres, Urias. Dwayne Underwood, Cubbies. A snakeskin Perez for the Astros to 50. Eddie Rosario for the Twins. 
to 75. You have Patrick Wisdom for the Rangers. Trevor Story and the Colorado Rockies. Toronto Blue Jays, Jonathan Davis to 75. Uh, Velasquez, Andrew Velasquez, Tampa Bay Rays. Austin wins for the Baltimore Orioles. Michael Kopik for the Chicago White Sox. Another Patrick Wisdom for the Texas Rangers. Ryan Barucki, Toronto Blue Jays. Hunter Dozier, Kansas City Royals. Behind that is Valdez for the Astros. Tukey, I forgot about Tukey coming out for the Atlanta Braves. And then we got things started tonight with Ortiz and the Baltimore Orioles to 99 with the Zebra Pattern. Now, as promised, I'm going to put up that spreadsheet information again here real quickly. And we'll take a look at where I fixed the ones that I goofed up a minute ago. Rot row. So yeah, now they're fixed. Um, once again, it was, who was it? It was the Reds and... Oh, gosh, there were like three teams. Whoever the Reds team owner was, where are you? Where are you? K. Rudy 24. So it would have been the Reds and the Angels and the Rangers. I originally had the wrong name pasted in there because I forgot to clear my clipboard when I was cutting and pasting. Sorry, but it's fixed there. And, of course, you know I don't ship from that spreadsheet anyway, so there, you were never in any danger of it being shipped to the wrong place. But still, I like to get them right. So thank you, Jay Allen, for pointing that out as well. So once again, planning on Wednesday for this stuff to be out the door. There is no mail on Monday for the holiday. Uh, I've got another break scheduled to go on Tuesday. This might end up going out Tuesday as well, possibly. We'll see. Uh, but it's a lot of sorting and takes a while in the other break. So I'm going to say Wednesday to be safe. And if I can get it out to you sooner than that, I will. Our breaks that are coming up tomorrow night is an off night. Monday night, we're going to do a half case of Bowman baseball. It's the back half of the case. Tuesday, we're going to do a 12 box case of legacy football. We'll start early, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific. Veteran base does not ship to the teams. It has its own bidding position. Teams are going to get all the rookie cards, inserts, parallels, numbered cards, autograph cards, and relic cards. Wednesday, we have a new release. That's Panini Leather and Lumber Baseball. We're going to open the full case. It's like a $2,000 case, so we better have some $2,000 kind of good hits in there is all I'm saying. But it's a brand new product. It looks like fun. We'll see if it, how good it is on Wednesday night. On Thursday, we will once again start 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific, and we'll break Legacy Football again. Same as before, Veteran Base will have its own bidding category and will not ship out to the teams. So I think that's it. I think that's all the news to use for tonight. So, hey, enjoy uh, the rest of your long holiday weekend. I am off tomorrow night. I will be back at it on Monday night, though. So I hope that I see you then, or if not then, sometime soon. So in the interim, enjoy your days off. Have a good holiday, and we'll see you Monday night. Bye now.